I just filled a client's calendar full of qualified sales calls. And here's step-by-step on how I did it. I'm Colin. I help business owners grow their businesses. It's my day job and my hobby at night. I've helped businesses 10x. I've helped them 3x their consistent income and everywhere in between. So starting out, this client was getting a few sales calls a month. With this system, she started filling up her calendar on a daily basis with sales calls that she actually closed to be clients. That's the important part. And this is the simple formula we used to get more prospects on sales calls more frequently. So let's jump in. So this is a Figma file, and this is the structure on how we did how we did this um, sales calls tactic. Normally, people will just go from traffic here, from traffic here straight to a scheduler, which you know you can try that, and that's what this arrow is for. Sometimes it works for people. Uh, this time it wasn't. So we needed something a little bit different. And this is like a very cl classic, basic uh, marketing tactic or marketing formula that we use at pretty much every level of business. You could be, you could be selling a few million a year or less than 10,000 a month. This works either way. So it all starts with traffic and that traffic can go uh, from YouTube, that traffic can go from Instagram where you're doing reels or even Facebook where you're doing reels, um, you're doing Facebook ads or Google ads, any sort of traffic that you get on the internet. And if you're watching this, you're probably somebody who knows how to get traffic, knows how to get views to those videos, then you've got this. So I'm not going to spend much time on it, but there's just tons of different ways to get traffic and several tactics on how to convert that traffic over to elite. And let's talk about a few of those keys. So number one is that your content actually matches the lead magnet. So it's the formula of more of the same. Number two is that you integrate naturally in content. And then number three is you don't get bored. So what I mean by the content matches the lead magnet is that it could be, and in this example, it's a 12 week fat loss guide. So you talk about, Hey, in this 12 week fat loss guide, or you give them a specific tip on how to lose weight, um, in your actual video on social media. And then at the end of that video, you're saying things like, Hey, if you want more of this, I created a PDF for people like you just comment X, Y, Z to get it, or click the link in my bio to get it, or DM me to get it, whatever uh, you'd use to convert them. We are starting to use something called many chat, which basically means you can do all of those posts that you've probably seen from your favorite influencer, where they say comment season or something like that. And it DMs you for, or to deliver that lead magnet to you. So it says, hey, what's your email kind of thing, and then gives you a PDF instead. So that kind of thing is very common, and it works really well. Better, I would argue, than a link in bio, or um, if you're running ads, then like obviously it's a straight link to a, a landing page. So you don't really have to worry about that. But your content should match the lead magnet, which means I'm giving a fat, fat I'm giving a fat loss tip and this lead magnet has 11 more in that, uh, in the document itself. So you basically just say, Hey, if you want more of this, like go here and get it. The other thing is to integrate it naturally in your content. And that should also like the caveat here is that if your offer does not fit your content, you have a, a fix to make. And so if you are creating content and your offer fits, within your content, then integrate it in that content. So you're saying, Hey, this is that one tip. And uh, like the integration happens where you can do it in the middle where you're saying, I, I do this all the time for clients and this is why I'm qualified to talk about it. And then you get into the tip and then you get into get the lead magnet in this way. So that's what I mean by integrate it. And then the last thing is just, <laughs> just don't get bored. Um, I say this all the time is that any influencer, any person that is posting content, you will 100% get 
bored faster about what you're talking about before everyone hears about it for their first time. So people are busy. People do crap all day and you are not the center of their like undivided attention all the time. So you will get bored of saying it before somebody even hears it in your audience. So that's super important. Like you're okay to just do 12 tips of how to lose fat. And then every, every piece of content, you're pushing that lead magnet. Think of it as you're giving it to them for free. It's an offering that is not so salesy. You can just put it in everything and you're okay, especially if it's good. So next is the lead magnet. And there's a lot of ways to do this lead magnet, but there's a few key things that you always need to make sure you have in a lead magnet. So I just talked about the 12 week fat loss guide. Let's talk about why that works. So a good lead magnet introduces a problem. Number one, number two solves a niche problem completely, and then naturally leads into the next problem, which is your core offer. So what does that mean? A 12 week fat loss guide, for example, it introduces a problem and this problem already exists in this person's mind. I need to lose fat fast. And this is like an entire industry is based off of that. But if you introduce that problem, they understand like I have that pain. So I want to engage in this because I want to solve that pain. What I, and the issue that I run into a lot is when you're creating lead magnets, you'll try to create one and you don't want to give them all of the secrets naturally. So like if you're doing any coaching or a course, like you feel a little bit weird about putting just everything in that lead magnet. Cause why else? Like they wouldn't have a reason to buy. Um, the issue with that is that people will judge you off of your free stuff the same way they judge you off your paid stuff. Like everybody invests something in into consuming anything. So you're spending your time watching this video. They are spending their time watching that video. They're spending their time and energy consuming that lead magnet. There's still a transaction, even though it was free. Um, so they will judge you off of that free transaction. If you're free stuff is not good, they will not buy your paid stuff. So you really have to make that free stuff good. And the thing that I think about every time is just, if we're creating a lead magnet, how do we make it so, how do we make it so the average Joe gets a result? Does it matter that they get to the moon type of result? No, we're talking step one. If they can get to step one in that lead magnet, they're in a good spot. If they just find some, some result to their problem, they're okay. Because what will happen then is they will keep going down that ladder with you and saying, what's next, what's next, what's next. So that's why a good lead magnet also naturally leads into another problem. For example, with a 12 week fat loss guide, your, um, your fat's probably not going to be all gone in 12 weeks. Even if it does bring you lots of results throughout those 12 weeks, what do you do post 12 weeks? Um, there's a lot to be done after that. So the next problem would be how do you continue this, these habits, these things you're working on, the things you build, how, like, how do you keep that going outside of the 12 weeks? Well, that's your next problem. That is what your core offer, your paid offer is supposed to solve. So the key to this whole strategy is having a good lead magnet that meets these three criteria. It solves a problem, like it actually fixes something for them. It introduces a problem and it leads into the next problem um, that you get paid to solve. So if you don't have a good lead magnet, this honestly just probably won't work that well. Um, it might work okay, but this is a key point to this is that you give them something good, something that they deem worth their time consuming. Next, everybody skips this. And this is the reason why this works for the people I'm working with and may not work for something you've tried already is because you're missing this one piece, which is an email follow-up sequence. And what I've noticed is the more business owners I talk to, the less I, the more I learn that like nobody does this. Nobody does their follow-up sequence right. 
Um, the very few who get it right are usually pretty successful because it just, it sets you apart. The only people who really get this right are the ones that are good business owners or have massive conglomerate businesses that you're probably not working at anyway, like Nike, Apple, all that stuff. So somewhere in between, you're going to find a business that does this well and makes a lot of money from it. And let's talk about what that means. So an email follow-up sequence, there's three key principles. One of them, not salesy. Number two is that it the the sequence takes them from point A to point B. And then number three is that after point B, then you sell the next step, but not before that. So let's talk about it. So an email follow-up sequence, there's tons of different schools of thought of what this should be. Some people say it should be, um, like Russell Brunson says, it should be a sideways sales letter, which never really clicked for me. Um, there's another guy named Sabri Subi. He does great about explaining this in his, one of his books where he talks about you have, he calls it a magic lantern sequence where essentially you're in, think of yourself in a dark path, you're holding them by the hand and all you have is a lantern that shows the next step for them. You light that next step, they take that next step and then you are there for step number two. And essentially what you're trying to do is they are in a certain mindset in a certain life situation when they engage with that lead magnet. So they get in and they are at point A, which means like for this 12 week fat loss guide, they're in severe pain. They, they want to lose that weight. They feel uncomfortable with where their body's at. Um, however, what they're missing is the know-how on how to get that done. Um, they may think that like just eating less and exercising more isn't really going to work for them. So what are the ins and outs? Um, this person will want to know more information on how weight loss actually works, for example. So in that email follow-up sequence, you're not going to say, hey, glad you downloaded the lead magnet. Now buy my stuff because every other business does that. Like it's kind of the 1% of 1% that people actually do it right. Most businesses, when you sign up for their emails, they will just bombard you with 7,000 emails in a month of buy my stuff, which you don't want. What you do want is to be a welcome guest in their inbox instead of an annoying pest. So you're going to take them from point A to point B, point B being like the very, um, last step before they buy. So if this is somebody that's like, for the 12 week fat loss guide that we were working on for this. Um, this is somebody who gets the information, realizes that like, Hey, there's a lot here and I could probably use some personal advice. That's the next step is that they move into coaching, right? So we do this entire email follow-up sequence, teaching them about all of the ins and outs, giving them the secrets because most people won't use them anyway. They'll need your help. And that's where your paid offer comes in. And it, it brings them from point A, which they don't know enough to really get going, to point B, where they have enough to know that you're the right decision to make when, they come, when it comes to what to buy. So that's the genius in this magic lantern sequence, point A to point B. And then after point B, that's when you sell them. You say, hey, I've brought you to this point. Obviously, like you're predisposed and predetermined that like, this is the right step for you. Let me show you how to take the next steps. And the way I like to do this always is a hook pain point solution call to action formula, which you have a hook, which you say like, Hey, have you liked this so far? And then the pain point is like, you, you, you've learned a lot of this, but do you really think you can get this all done and all part of your habits right away? Probably not. Right. And so your solution is, this is what coaching does for you. This is what it can do for, this is what it has done for other people. This is what it can do for your life. All you need to do is click this button and sign up or click this button and schedule a call with me in this case. And this whole sequence here, that's where people are are signing up over and over and over again. They're clicking to like in their link in bio. Um, they're going to this page where they can sign up for a lead magnet. They sign up and they get emails, which was unexpected for them usually. And they get these emails that are 
more unexpectedly teaching them rather than selling them. Hey, just a side note here. I've also made a chat GPT version that you can go access and create magic lantern techniques for whatever, uh, whatever company you're using it for. All you need to provide is who the customer avatar is, what lead magnet you're using, and then the start and end points that you want on the bookends of the email sequence that you're writing. And then it'll just outline and write it for you. Super good. Um, I've inputted a lot of information to teach that chat GBT about what the magic lantern sequence is. So you can click a link in the description to get that as well. And then, and only then do we send them to the scheduler. And that's where she's getting days full of clients that are quality people, quality leads that want her service. And she's selling them like crazy. Um, if you have questions or want more information on how to implement something like this, you can join my free school community and get more details on strategies like this and the ins and outs of actually how to carry this out and get it done. There's lots in there. So feel free to click the link in the description to go there and join the group and get more info on just how to market a business better.